Well, currently guns can be kept only inside the home unless they are being transported to a firing range or to the police station for registration. The D.C. residents in this case argue that the right to defend yourself should extend outside the home. It was a year ago that the Supreme Court made the landmark Second Amendment ruling, knocking down the city's long-standing gun ban. Now the attorney from that case is gearing up for round two. Ordinary law-abiding Americans in this country do have the right to defend themselves with handguns. Alan Gura, the attorney representing four D.C. residents, filed a new lawsuit in U.S. District Court yesterday. He's asking the court to take the Supreme Court ruling a step further and allow residents to carry their guns in public. The Supreme Court explained that bearing arms means to carry them, and it's long been understood in our, in our country that when a constitution protects the right to keep and bear arms, that means you have the right to keep the gun in your home and also to walk uh, out with it to defend yourself uh, in case, uh, in case uh, the need arises. In the D.C. versus Heller case, the justices struck down the district's no handguns in your home ban on the grounds that it violated the Second Amendment. But they weren't too terribly specific about when do law-abiding Americans have the right to carry firearms in public for self-defense. The district's attorney general, along with the mayor, says that crosses the line, and they expect to win this lawsuit. We believe, of course, uh, that the gun restrictions are important. Uh, there may be a case for having them in other places, as the Supreme Court has ruled, but the district needs strong uh, uh, gun protection, and that's not just my opinion. That's the opinion of our chief of police and other law enforcement experts. The city now has 20 days to respond to the lawsuit filed in U.S. District Court. This is a case that many experts agree will likely end up before the Supreme Court again. In the